Hello everyone, and welcome to another Bacon Bits video. Today we'll be tackling drive encryption. I'm going to show you how to set up BitLocker on your Windows endpoints, and then I'm going to show you how to view the secrets in Bacon. To start, we're going to navigate to our connected endpoints here using the green button on our endpoints module. And from there we're going to navigate to our Bacon Bit endpoint here. From this page we can see which drives are attached to our endpoint by clicking on the disk module here in the middle. As you can see here we have two drives. We have our C drive which we will be encrypting and our D drive which will hold the key. To start we're going to connect to the screen using our remote tool. We're going to click connect. Now we are remoted in. We're going to navigate to the Manage BitLocker app. And see we have BitLocker turned off. We're going to turn BitLocker on for this device. We're going to save it to a file. And I already have a folder called Keys on our D drive here. I'm just going to save it here. We're going to just use the default configuration for this. We're going to start encrypting. And I'll see you guys back when this is finished. Welcome back everyone. Now that our drive is finished encrypting, we can leave the remote tool by navigating back to the details page. Then we're going to click the disk module here to bring up our hard drives. And as you can see, Bacon has automatically pulled the encryption key from the D drive. You can view the key here by clicking the view button and entering the password for the endpoint. And from here, Bacon displays the entire encryption key. We can go ahead and click close here. For our system admins, I'm going to show you another way to manage your keys. These next few options, keep in mind, will only be available for administrator accounts for security purposes. We're going to start by navigating to the Administration tab, and then we're going to click Endpoints and then Secrets. Here you can manage every encrypted drive connected to your Bacon server. For the purposes of this demonstration, we only have the one connected here, but this is where you will see every endpoint. If you click the Actions button, it gives you a few options. If you click View, it will give you this pop-up that will ask you permission to view the secret. You can click Continue and it displays just as in the last screen and click OK. You can delete the key. This is pretty self-explanatory. The key will be de deleted from Bacon but it will not be altered on the endpoint so this is only if you want to remove it specifically from the Bacon server. We're gonna hit cancel there. You can also click export. This will create a Excel file and you can download that to your browser as seen here. You can do this for multiple and this will give a full Excel spreadsheet of all of the drives that you have encryption keys for. The next is export and delete and that one is also pretty self-explanatory. This will delete the key from Bacon and it will also create the spreadsheet. Alright, that is the end of this Bacon Bits video. I hope you guys learned something and I will see you next time.